India is now no longer just a potential or a dark horse. It's the ninth edition of the Times Network India Economic Enclave. India has always been poised for greatness due to the sheer size of our economy and the law of averages which had to catch up eventually. We'll have politicians, we'll have strategists, we'll have thinkers, we'll have everyone, India's who's who and the world's who's who descending to this venue. What was needed actually was perseverant effort and a peaceful society determined to keep improving its existential condition and that is something that our government has been able to provide over time and certainly in the last 8 to 10 years it has been a very very strong and good period for us. Covid disrupted the world order. And events after that, in rapid succession, U.S. leaving Afghanistan in 21 August, Russia attacking Ukraine in February 22, the continuation of lockdowns in China, and the trade standoff which started around 2019 or so between China and the U.S. were all landmark events. Amidst all this, when most national and regional economies were being bruised and battered by inflation, pandemic, energy shortage, war, and even the unheard of headlines of nuclear threats in Europe, India was quietly jogging at its usual pace, recording 7% growth. In April this year, India has overtaken China as the world's largest nation by population. We are today the largest number of human beings, human brains and hands on earth. And we will be this way for the foreseeable future, a hundred years down the line, maybe even a 500 years down the line. India is now no longer just a potential or a dark horse. In a span of the last, just last two years, the discourse has changed. We are now clearly seen as the hot favorite to eventually be the world's number one economy by the turn of the century, by 2070 or so. The war in Ukraine and China's belligerent stance on our northern borders has only tilted global power equations in our favor. We were always a military power to reckon with. The events of the last few years have only worked in our favor and motivated us to build our muscle in that side also. The Indian innings is beginning here. Number one population, rapidly rising number five economy, number four military. In a multipolar world, the critical Indian Ocean region needs and deserves a mature stabilizing factor. The world needs an alternate production hub. India is already all that and more.